What's going on there YouTube? Sick Eric back again with another video and today we're going to be taking, taking a look at an app called PowerShade for the LG V60. Well it's not exactly for the LG V60 but I find that this improves the notification area a lot on this device. As we all know uh, the notification area has been changed on the LG V60. Uh, it is either a give or take but um, let's go ahead and show you exactly how it looks with it off so when you get your your v60 and you swipe down on it you're going to get this sort of notification shade but when you go down further all your notifications just disappear which is kind of weird it has this weird effect to where everything sort of it just it looks odd especially when you scroll down all the way i understand they're trying to bring everything down to the bottom but it also does get rid of all your notifications on here when you swipe down all the way. So in order for me to fix that, or a, a, I guess a fix that I found for that is to install PowerShade uh, notification panel and quick settings. And this just makes it a lot easier and cleaner and it gives it more of a stock Android look onto your device. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it looks with it on. So we're gonna scroll down and then now, when we scroll down, well, if it turns on, let's see, our shade is not running. Let's try this again, open it up. Power shade, turn on, that's what I forgot to do. So now it is on, so when I go back to the home screen, I scroll down, now as you can see, it gives it more of a stock Android look and your notification still on there it's just a much cleaner animation much smoother look you do lose some of your uh, toggles like your uh, your hi-fi toggle but if you have that on it's pretty much going to stay on all the time and your 3d uh, sound engine is not going to be on here either but i don't use that so it's totally up to you if you want to use that but you still get all your other toggles and you still are able to change them all and add new toggles as you can see right here you could add more toggles on there as well for that. And then there are a bunch of other different types of settings that you could do for this. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. Now let's look for power shade, if we could find it. So these are all your uh, settings right here. You could change the layout, uh, shift the battery down, smaller corners if you don't want that rounded look to it as well. And then you could also change the icons to circle, outline, gradient. You could switch them all around. Of course, you'd have to buy it, but it's only $1.99. I probably will buy it just because I really enjoy this a lot, but I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. Uh, the free version still works and you still are able to get a whole bunch of features out of it. Uh, show power menu on the uh, menu button on your quick toggles. So you do have the option to show your little power on and off switch. You could change, uh, well, those are all when you purchase it. Uh, brightness slider at the bottom, uh, brightness slider in the header. You have all these different options and you could also change the color. So right now it is on the uh, white theme, but we're gonna go ahead and keep it on the black. Let me see if I could change this back. So active tile, background color. We're gonna go ahead and switch it back to black and apply. So now we are back to the uh, black theme. So this works really, really well. Notification background, you could change that as well. If you want that to be dark, you could change that as well. And dynamic color notifications, you could change that to where everything is more colorful on your notifications, which actually looks pretty cool. Uh, auto dark mode, switch that. And now everything will be in auto dark mode for you. So you have a lot of different options with this app. Uh, heads up, uh, show style, pop up, peak notifications at the top of the screen, which is cool. You do get some ads on there, but like I said, you could purchase it for $1.99. I will probably end up purchasing it. And uh, extras, uh, choose profile picture. You could back up and restore slide trigger area, which means it gives you like a little area on the side so that you could scroll down. 
override system panel help showing the app instead of system now uh, one thing i did notice that on some people are saying that when you scroll down on your home screen say you're using a third-party launcher you still get your old um swipe down notification panel when you're using that and let me go ahead and show you exactly what i am talking about here so usually when you swipe down um you could open up notification panels so when you swipe down from here you got the power shade but when you swipe down right here you get your old lg one which is kind of annoying but there is a fix for that so just go into whatever launcher you're using if you're using nova or for instance i'm using lawn chair you're going to go into your gestures swipe down and then you're going to scroll down to open app and then you're going to scroll down so you get to power shade click on this little arrow down here and open notification shade so now when you scroll down on your home screen you open up your notification shade which is power shade and i think this just looks a lot cleaner and a lot nicer than lg's one i understand what lg was trying to do but it just didn't look right as far as the animations went. This one is just a lot smoother. You get your cool little, you know, options and customizations on here, and it just looks more stock and gives this phone a more complete look to it. So I'll post a link in the description down below for PowerShade so you guys can go ahead and check that out. It is free, but you do have the option to download it, uh, pro version, I guess, for $199. I'll probably do that, like I said. That way I could unlock more features and it is really nice once you install this it'll go through a bunch of settings for you to activate accessibility and your notifications really simple to do really simple to install pretty much you install it everything's already set up for you so really really nice so check it out link will be posted in the description down below hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe hit that little notification bell for future notifications on my channel thumbs up if you enjoy thumbs down if you didn't and I appreciate it. I understand everybody has to stay at home. It sucks. So hopefully you guys could be entertained with videos on YouTube, uh, my videos, and of course other reviewers' videos. So with that being said, guys, hope you enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.